I'm gonna set these down. Okay, let's do a haul. At least I'm buying books and not doing hard drugs. Okay guys, before we get into today's unboxing video, I do want to say a quick thank you to today's sponsor, which is none other than Book of the Month. If you guys do not somehow know what Book of the Month is after I've talked about them so many times on my channel, they are literally one of my favorite things ever. Book of the Month is a super popular and fast growing online book service for readers. Their mission is to help promote new and emerging authors and help readers find books that they love. Their team basically vets hundreds of books each month to make a curated list for you to pick from of new and early release titles. That way you can spend more time reading and less time researching. Also, Book of the Month is completely risk free. That means that you can skip any month at any time and you will not be charged plus they have the best price for new and released hardcover fiction you guys can get your first book for just $9.99 with the code that I'm putting up on the screen it is an amazing deal and I'm going to show you guys my book picks for this month you've got great taste the writing retreat we have a little thriller going on and then I have Georgie all along this book the premise of this book seems so interesting she's like looking through the pages of her diary and then of course you guys know Oh my god, the bookmark is always my favorite part of a book of the month box, aside from the books. I'm always looking forward to what the bookmark's gonna be. And it says, be mine, me to every book. That was literally me for today's video. Be mine to all of the books on my physical TBR that I haven't read, that I keep on buying more and more books for. Those are my selections for this month. You guys definitely should go check out bookofthemonth.com. I'm going to have them linked down in my description. Don't forget to use the code to get your first book for just $9.99. Thank you so much to Book of the Month for sponsoring today's video. You guys are amazing and I love ya. And let's get into my haul. Well, other than these two books. These are the first two books to start off the haul. Let's get into it. Ugh got all of this going on we have all of these packages some boxes and then these stacks right here are books that i got for my birthday and we are going to haul all of them in today's video are you guys ready i know i'm ready and i know that this has taken me a very big amount of self-restraint because i have been collecting a lot of these packages for like a month or two now and i have literally been staring at them and if you know me i'm somebody that like but I don't know what in my brain I like rationalize with myself and I try to open things like I can't wait basically when it comes to things like these and so me waiting this long to do this is very impressive for myself. Buckle up, get a snack, we're doing an unboxing haul today. I am also aware that I didn't need to buy any more books because I also just did a physical TBR video where I had 190 books on my physical TBR. What I will say though is that my parents did buy me books for my birthday. People bought me books for my birthday. I've gotten sent some books. I bought a few books. So please, for my mental sake, do not comment and be like, you really didn't need to get any more books. Listen, I know. Just let me be happy. This makes me happy. Just please let me be happy. At least I am not doing hard drugs. That's what I say to myself anyway. Well, no, like I don't do hard drugs, but I'm saying at least at least I'm buying books and not doing hard drugs. This was a weird, this was a weird sentiment that I was doing. Just forget that I said that. Brr, brr. Okay, so I think the first thing that I'm going to do is start off with obviously the books that aren't in the packages. So I went to Barnes & Noble the other day and I bought a few books. Like I didn't need to, but let me tell you guys this. I know you guys are probably like, can we just get the haul? You guys are like foaming at the mouth. You guys are like, can we please just see you open up these books? And me like prolonging it, be like, da -de -da -de -da. like I'm just gonna sit here for five minutes and be like, I'm just kidding, but do let me say this. I talked about in my like reading wrap up and even my last podcast episode that I was like, I have been loving Abby Jimenez books. So I went and picked up from Barnes Noble. I literally went to Barnes Noble to get the two other books I hadn't read by her. I picked up The Friend Zone, which I think is like not her first, I don't know, is this her first book? I don't know, but it's the first book in like this little series companion novel thing she had going on. Oh, look who wants to join me. Hello, girl. Hello. You're about to go sit in the chair, aren't you? I know you so well. I know you so well. Also guys, another side note on the side note, Charlie will be downstairs minding her business downstairs and she hears me filming and she runs upstairs to go right by me while I'm filming. I told you, I told you, I knew what she was about to do. I knew it. 
Are you really about to move that pillow so you can lay down? <laughs> so I went to Barnes to pick up the other two books, the Friend Zone and the Happy Ever After playlist because I have been loving her books, so I wanted to pick up the other two. And then I saw that they had Forever and Ever like in store and I just don't know why. I've been eyeing this book by Lucy Score, so I decided to pick it up. I actually started reading it on my Kindle the other day. And then I picked up Twilight for a video. So you guys need to mind your own business as to why that is. And then also they gave me a free book journal because I'm a member. They were like, I was checking out and he was like, oh, by the way, right now, like we're giving members these free journals. Do you want it? And I was like, period, slay, awesome. Now these two piles of books are the books that I got for my birthday. So we're just gonna scoot these out of a hair, haul them. So starting from the top to the bottom, cause that's what makes the most sense. First of all, we have The Predator. This is the Darkverse series. I have not seen like anyone I know read this. I actually have read this book already, but I won't say anything about it. I have not seen anyone like talk about these books. What happened was I think I was on TikTok and it was one of those like carousel videos of like what people, you guys know like the photos. And this girl was like talking about her favorite series and this series was in it. So then I added it to my wish list. And I think what my mom did, she just like went through my wish list and just like added some books and then checked out like my mom and dad are so sweet they don't like know like the series and stuff then we have the girl he needs by christy rose and honestly i have no i have never seen anyone even talk about these books but i think i found them on amazon the blurbs on the back really caught my attention and it seemed like they were like i liked the way that the blurbs were written so i thought maybe i'll like the author's writing oh no baby no nor why is this why is this a thing why 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 so we have the war of two queens by jennifer l armentrout which i'm pretty sure is a part of the from blood and ash yeah a blood and ash and then this is a kingdom of flesh and fire there and then my parents knew such a sleigh say you swear by megan brandy you guys know that i read this book last month on my kindle and absolutely loved it five stars and so they got me the physical copy of it for my birthday which i kid you not i'm about to go to miami and i'm bringing this with me and fully annotating it while i'm there then we have another wait is this a is this a flesh and fire a shadow in the ember I think this is a part of, because it says a flesh and fire novel. So I think this is a part of her other like romance fantasy series that she has going on. Then we have The Crown of Gilded Bones, which is also a part of the Blood and Ash. And I actually did read from Blood and Ash back in 2021. And then I never continued on with the series. But for some reason, when you go to Barnes and Noble, they only have the hardbacks and they're like 30 something dollars. I'm not even joking. So I found the paperbacks on Amazon. Okay, a little hockey romance going on. This is cute. It, discreet cover. Gotta love that the authors are coming out with discreet covers, but this is a hockey romance. Nash Richards was my first everything. First boyfriend, first time love, first heartbreak too. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay, so it's like a second chance romance. Hockey. Cool. Summertime by Willow Astor, which is definitely going to be read in the summertime and then i think that this is also yeah this is a part of the dark verse the same with the predator this is the emperor dark verse book three dear heart i hate you don't love this cover but you know i've actually like heard about this i remember just hearing because there's dear heart i hate you dear love i hate you and dear heart i miss you and i feel like i have heard about this little series before i wish all authors did like one two three thing but they do not but i do wish that they did because then i would know like what books in the series again the girl he knows is this series called no strings attached i don't know but the girl he knows aha then we oh what <laughs> then we have the annihilator dark verse book five we have megan quinn's those three little words but is this a part of the, what is the book by her that everyone, the one cover with it, or it looks like Cupid? I don't know, but is this like a companion novel? Do you have to read that book first to read this book? I'm not too sure. Also, so as some of you may know, I have read Magnolia Parks and didn't really like it. But the thing is, is that when I bought Magnolia Parks and everyone first started talking about it and it first started getting a little bit of its traction, 
I went ahead and bought Magnolia Parks and Magnolia Parks The Long Way Home, which is the third book in this little trilogy that's out right now. I think there are going to be more books. I don't know. I don't really keep up with it. But since I already bought that book, I was like, okay, I should continue on with the series. But then I figured out that like you can't, obviously I can't go from first to third book. This is the second book, which is Daisy Hates. And this is the second book in the Magnolia Park little trilogy. And for some reason, I feel like I will like this one more because it's not about Magnolia and BJ. But next we have Promises We Meant to Keep by Monica Murphy. I think this is her new release and this is a part of the Lancaster prep little universe that she has going on. I think it's a million kisses in your lifetime. Things, things we never say or things whatever. I loved a million kisses in your lifetime so I'm excited to continue on with the little Lancaster prep. And then we have this book Does It Hurt which this is the like alternative special edition cover. I've seen a lot of people like a few months ago talk about this book and it's like she has to like go to this lighthouse or something. I don't know. And then we have Offside by Avery Keelan, which yes, this is, I started this book the other day. I was liking it so far as I was reading it. So, and then we have The Hardest Fall by Ella Mace because I have said that I really like Marriage for One and then I have To Love Jason Thorne and To Hate Adam Connor, which are also by her that I haven't read yet. And then The Hardest Fall has been literally sitting on my Amazon wish list for I think a year. So maybe I will finally get back around to this one. I don't know why, but like this cover and then like the back is very couple photo shoot. Do you get what I'm saying? Like it's very like, I feel like I'm looking at somebody Facebook photos. And then we have Even When I'm Gone, book two in the Stay With Me series. I'm gonna have to look in again in the first one because this is the second one. So I've heard about the Stay With Me series, heard a lot of things about it, and I'm very intrigued to read that. And then finally, from Blood and Ash. I feel like I talked about literally every other book in the series that I hold, but finally, from Blood and Ash, The Reaper, book two in the Dark Verse. So we completed that. And then we have Not Net. Wait. <laughs> Guys, look at how like hard it is to read this like stuff they have going on with this cover. Now open your eyes, which is the third book in the Stay With Me series. We're gonna have to get Stay With Me. <laughs> so, so those are the books that I got for my birthday. Thank you again to my mom and dad because that's super sweet. Okay, should we start with the boxes or should we start with the bags? I think I'm gonna start with the boxes. I do have one that I did like open partially because I had to make sure that these books were in there. These ones I ordered, I ordered obviously the final offer. <laughs> Obviously, I already read this. I'm keeping my thoughts to myself, but this was the first book that I read this month on my Kindle, and then obviously because I knew the cut the uh, physical copy was coming in. Okay, and then I bought Binding 13 because I did a giveaway for 100K, and I picked like a bunch of people for their Amazon wish list, and then I picked three different people to fully annotate books and send to them. And somebody wanted, I think somebody's list or something, they had Binding 13, so I got Binding 13. For that purpose, so we're putting that over here. Hold on, I forgot scissors. I'm to be everything you want. Hey girl, let me talk to you if I was your boyfriend. Why is that in my head? Is there a note? Oh, this series is on my TBR. Enjoy your gift. Hope you like it. I love your videos. Whitney Dawn 4296 is me on YouTube and it's Whitney Dawn author on all socials. If I comment anything from Whitney Blake, Whitney Bailey. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. So it is Crush by Tracy Wolf. I have had my eye on the series. Also, I put everyone's notes in the front of my book. That way I always have them. But I actually have been debating on buying the series because I want to do a whole entire reading vlog on it. And now I can. So thank you so much. Next and final book. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. Why are there three books in here? What? Oh my god. No. Not me saying no, but it says congrats times a thousand on 100k. You deserve all 11 followers in the world. I'm so thankful books brought us together. Here's 100k plus more from Sarah. And then it says, I don't know if my messages are coming on one, but hi from Sarah. And then it's a heart from Sarah. Sarah! Bestie Sarah. I literally love her so much. If you guys don't watch her, Sarah Corolla here on YouTube. She is my bestie and she is absolutely amazing. And I love her so much. Thank you so much, Sarah. You are literally so freaking sweet. Oh my gosh. In a jam by Kate. Kate. 
I literally thought this said K Cranberry. Mm, okay. Sarah, do you have any of these? Can we buddy read some of these or just buddy read a book? Sarah, text me if you're watching this. Thank you so much. Text me now. That, that sounded really like aggressive. Don't text me if you don't want to, but text me. I appreciate this and love you. Then we have Serenading Heartbreak, which I have heard about for like two years now and I just have never read it. And then we have <laughs> A Thousand Boy Kisses. Okay, I guess like if people wanted me to cry, this is, this is a great, this is a great way to start. Oh my gosh, Sarah, thank you so much. Oh my god, I literally almost broke my nail. Like, I felt the nail go back like that. Oh, MJ, what is going on with this? Sending you a book. Wait, I cannot read. Reading out loud is like one of my embarrassing things that I don't like doing. Sending you a book right back because I adore you and love you. I just hope this book, maybe we can read it together at Books with JB, Julie from... Oh my gosh, yes, because I sent her a book. That's... I was like sending you a book right back. Oh yeah, I sent you... Julie, I sent you a book, Julie. Yeah, I remember that. Oh my gosh, she is an angel. If you guys aren't following at Books with JB, she literally slays the bookstagram game and she is so sweet and I love her. Play With Me by Becca Mack. Isn't this the same author of, what was that hockey romance that I read? Consider Me. Yes, Consider Me. Is this the second one? It is. Oh my gosh. And I really, Consider Me is one of my favorite ho ho Consider Me is one of my favorite hockey romances that I've read. So I'm very excited to continue on with this series. Thank you, Julie. Boom. Okay. This is like, I'm starting to get a little bit of a, a little bit of a mess over here. The Night Circus. I don't remember ordering it. Oh, wait. Oh, is there a note? Is there a note? Love you from Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> Sarah, did you send this to? Are you literally crazy, gal? Thank you. Multiple reasons why Sarah is just so amazing, but that is one of them. She is so freaking sweet. I'm serious. If you guys haven't subbed yet, you guys need to go sub to her. This book is like plastic wrapped. Oh, I ordered this. And they said that this wasn't going to come in time or something, but I guess it came. I I think it was like last year or something. I was, did I do like a Kindle? Like what's on my Kindle limited TBR? And I was talking about this series by Maya Hughes. Is this the King of Rittenhouse series or is it the other one? I can't remember. It like was one of those book series with like the shirtless guys on the cover. So I was always like, yeah, I'm not going to buy those. But she came out with the like cartoonified covers, which I don't have a problem with. Lately, people have been like, ah, I hate the cartoon covers. I think that they're cute. And I think that it gives a little hint as to like what the book is. Like this is probably a scene from the book. And I think it's so cute. So I went and bought up the series because she changed the covers to them. <laughs> And that is literally why I went and bought it. I was really sick last week. That's why I have the sniffles. And it just like won't go away. Like I have so much mucus in my throat when I'm running in the morning. It's so bad. This bag says so happy we found each other. And how cute is that? Was this opened already? Oh no. <laughs> Wait, was this open though? Okay, these are the other two books that I'm annotating for the giveaway, which is Addicted to You and Love Another Word. Very excited to do that because I do love annotating so much. Okay, let's open another book. Okay. No, is there no note? Oh, don't, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. <gasps> Because I think I literally said in my New Year New Books video that I was looking for this and they didn't have it at any of the Barney, Barney Nobles. What is going on with me in today's video? If you sent me this, please comment down below and tell me because you are so freaking sweet. Thank you so much. So I can send you, I was about to say international kisses and I meant to say digital kisses. How do I even, you know, have a YouTube channel? Oh, Sarah Note, Sarah Note. Enjoy your gift from McKenna Crawford. McKenna! Thank you, you sweet angel, Educated, a memoir by Tara Westa. I have wanted to read this for literally forever. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Me being in my memoir era. Ah, this is one that I bought. See, Heartless King by Maya Hughes. This is like the new covers. I think this one might be the other one. I think I ordered three. So, why do they all come in separate? No, it's not. Oh my gosh. Hi Destiny, congrats on hitting 100k and happy early birthday. You've inspired me to keep reading and I love your videos. Enjoy this book from Jordan. Jordan, thank you so much. And I'm honestly happy to keep you reading. And you guys keep me reading because 
you know, you guys inspire me to read and buy books. I don't know where I'm going with that. Thank you so much, Jordan. You are a sweet angel. It is spring tide. Oh my gosh, I was literally about to buy this book because I have not seen anyone like talk about this book and I found it on Amazon and then I added it to my wish list and it just looks so cute. It's a football romance, but look at how beachy and cute this is. I think this one, I think this one's gonna be the other Kings of Rittenhouse book. Yes, I knew it, I knew it. Ruthless or Rekka. <laughs> If I could read, I think that that would be great. Reckless King. Last one for today's video. Oaths and Omissions. Oh, this is a part of the um, Monsters and Muses series. Did I? Oh, wait, no. Someone sent this. Someone sent this. Thank you for always delivering the most comforting creative videos. I hope you enjoy the books I picked off your wish list. I loved Educated and I think you will too. From McKenna Crawford. Oh wait, yes, you sent me Educated too. McKenna, not you sending me two books or even one. Girl, I love you. Oaths and Omissions, Monsters and Muses, Series 3. Have you read this one, McKenna? Do you like this one? You love Educated. So, should I read Educated first or this one? Please let me know. Well, should I read Educated first or should I read the Monsters and Muses series? You let me know. This pink drink is honestly the only thing keeping me going today. That is it for today's video. If you guys like this video, as always, you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff that you guys know how to do. As always, you guys let me know. If you guys like these Amazon unboxing videos, which I have a lot of fun doing, then let me know because I will feel free to do them. <laughs> I mean, these bookshelves ain't gonna fill themselves. Um, but I do need to like get to the physical TBR. Which I have been doing, guys. I have been doing. I've low-key been proud of myself because I feel like I have these first two months of 2023. I feel like I have been knocking out a lot of books that have been sitting on my physical TBR for a while. Life is too short for you not to do the things that make you happy. And buying books makes me happy. As does reading them. But buying them really makes me happy. So I'm like scared of hate comments. So I'm like, um, yeah. Okay. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. I love all of you guys. Thank you so much if you sent me a book. Just know that I appreciate it so much. Literally, you guys are absolutely amazing. And I will see you guys when I see ya. Peace.